good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, guys. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Maybe you still remember us as a family because three years ago, we sold our house, we sold our cars, we sold our companies. We went all into Bitcoin and we started to travel the world as a family. And now, guys, three years later, still traveling the world, still all into Bitcoin. Now coming to you from our hometown Venlo where we are visiting family for the next two weeks before we go and continue our tour to Spain and many other countries. In today's video guys I'm going to show you the difference between the value that is transacted on the Ethereum blockchain and the Bitcoin blockchain. Of course I'm going to talk to you about the Bitcoin price because like I expected we were going upwards from the 9100. We saw a beautiful green candle into the 9400 region. What are we going to see next? I will explain this with a beautiful chart in this video what to expect next also in this video talking about mining because many people ask me Didi is it still interesting to start to mine if I buy an end miner I am going to show you how long it will take to mine one complete Bitcoin with an end miner and of course we're going to talk about a lot of more stuff so I would suggest to start watching this video enjoy it to the fullest guys Where am I guys? I am in the Netherlands so I thought let's walk through these things that the Netherlands is famous for because we are famous for being farmers and as you can see all around me we can see farming landscape all over the place. I am not a farmer boy so I don't really know what this is. I think I'm walking through asparagus fields. I really don't know for sure. Maybe you know for sure. If you know for sure which kinds of things we see here on the background is this asparagus or which other fruit or vegetable is this let me know in the comments down below and while you let me know uh, please start with giving this video a thumbs up because thumbs ups are declining tremendously we are not reaching 300 thumbs ups anymore and the video views are also declining tremendously I don't know what is happening maybe it is because I'm not walking on the white sand beach anymore maybe it is because I'm uploading them in a different time zone or something I don't know I see a drop of 40% in views at the moment I really don't know what is happening let me know your opinion why the views have been dropping is it because of the beach or is it because of the time then I need to figure out how I can upload these videos again beautifully in the morning so you can enjoy it during your cup of coffee before you go to work the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is that Ethereum is flipping the Bitcoin blockchain. I am going to do this by using this chart. Pop! Yes, beautiful chart. You can already see what is happening on this chart. You can see that Ethereum is crossing over Bitcoin and that there is more volume transacted on the Ethereum blockchain than the Bitcoin blockchain. But now why is this happening? I think guys this all has to do with this hype around the DeFi and stable coins. More and more value is transacted in these stable coins so I think it was more than 500 billion already in 2020 now and it was like 290 billion all the year in 2019 so this is a lot of value that is being transacted on the Ethereum blockchain because of these stable currencies at the moment in 2020 we see a market cap around 12 billion US dollar in stable coins of which 9 billion US dollar in US dollar tether so US dollar tether is still the, the biggest stable coin there so stable coins are responsible for the biggest part of all the transactions on the Ethereum blockchain let's talk about Bitcoin as well guys because we don't see Bitcoin scams up front of my video again my apologies for all these Ethereum scams in front of my YouTube video YouTube stated that they are not liable for all the scams that are um, up front of my videos I don't know why we see all these videos now up front of my YouTube videos I don't know why YouTube is allowing these scams to promote their scam up front of my video my apologies don't believe when somebody tells you to send a Bitcoin or Ethereum and they will send you the double value back this is not going to happen these are scams guys don't trust these websites so let's talk about Bitcoin because they don't have these scammy things up front of my video. 
Bitcoin price guys as I expected and also of course told many times in my videos I thought Bitcoin was going to move upwards even yesterday in my video I said okay the Bollinger Band is now going to be very tight we need to see a movement the day before guys I shared with you maybe you still remember this chart with these blue dots that the biggest chance was that Bitcoin was going to move upwards after a 30-day low volume so this is exactly what Bitcoin did Bitcoin went up to 9,400 US dollar yesterday perfect beautiful green candle almost guys as green as these beautiful probably asparagus fields behind me but correct me if I'm wrong yes my energy is coming back bit by bit it took me a few days to get used again to the Netherlands and to this time zone this adaption takes me always a little bit I also caught a cold as you can still hear at my voice but I'm getting better and better every day and, and I'm getting healthier and healthier every day because I walk through these forests and through these beautiful green fields you know I don't know for sure but I think it's asparagus in the Netherlands we refer to asparagus as the green gold yes we call these plants this food I think the green gold in the Netherlands so beautiful combination to talk about Bitcoin while we're walking through these beautiful fields of the green gold of the Netherlands of course your question now is Didi what is Bitcoin going to do now I will share with you two scenarios one scenario is the bearish scenario one scenario is the bullish scenario I think one of these two scenarios is going to play out let's start with the bearish scenario in yesterday's video I talked to you about the Bollinger Band becoming very tight because this one became very tight Bitcoin needed to move upwards or downwards Bitcoin luckily moved upwards the guy that invented this Bollinger Band is called John Bollinger he tweeted yesterday that this also could be a head fake what is a head fake I will show you what is a head fake with an example what happened in 2019 let's take this chart Pop. do you see the chart yes this is October 2019 you can see that the Bollinger Band became really tight as well and then Bitcoin fell down it broke down it broke down with the first candle the red candle down of this Bollinger Band and then when it touched the bottom of the Bollinger Band the next candle was an explosive movement upwards to the upper line of the Bollinger Band and this was a 40% move upwards so first it breaks out of this Bollinger Band downwards and then it quickly reverses bam upwards to the upper line of the Bollinger Band and then it's a 40% move John Bollinger just tweeted this can also happen now but now in the opposite way so we had a tight Bollinger Band Bitcoin broke out upwards and now we could see a very quick reversal BAM 40% downwards a 40% downwards movement guys would bring us like below 6k levels so I really don't expect Bitcoin to drop now with 40% but if the same happens what happened last year October 2019 it could happen this is the bearish outlook the most bullish outlook guys I saw on this chart posted by Jack Sparrow this is a chart where he compares a fractal from the Nasdaq after the huge recession in 2008 with the with the current Bitcoin chart let's take the chart to see it that chart yes on this chart on the left side you can see a Nasdaq chart on this Nasdaq chart you can see that after the huge dip after the huge recession in 2008 we see this fractal this fractal moving upwards what is a fractal again to remind you a fractal is a repeating pattern so we can see after this huge dip how the Nasdaq did recover guys so the Nasdaq completely recovered completely upwards now if we compare the Bitcoin chart and we take the fractal from this Nasdaq chart and we paste this fractal on the Bitcoin chart from now we can see that Bitcoin is almost completely copying the whole Nasdaq move after 2008 so if Bitcoin will keep copying this move and it will keep doing what this fractal in the Nasdaq did then Bitcoin will end up at 20k on January 2021 so this is in about seven months so in seven month time if Bitcoin would repeat this Nasdaq fractal we will see Bitcoin at 20k in January 2021 this is the most bullish option I have seen so far on the charts but many people seem to agree many Bitcoin billionaires many Bitcoin funds seem to agree that Bitcoin can reach 20k in the next half year so bullish side 
20k, bearish side 5k. These are the two scenarios that could happen in Bitcoin while I walk through these beautiful fields of the green gold of the Netherlands. There was a very short period in my youth, I think it was about two months, it was a summer holiday and when I work in these glass houses, in these glass houses I needed to pick tomatoes guys. Yeah, that was a very long time year ago, I, I think I was 12 year old, then I was picking tomatoes to earn some extra cash long time ago. But this is the first time I walked through a green gold field in the Netherlands. Yeah, I know it's not a white beach, yeah, I know it's not a palm tree, but at least now you have seen how we Dutchies earn money by farming. I will keep walking here because there are a lot of cars in the Netherlands. It's not a quiet place like uh, Koh Phangan, Thailand, where I don't have disturbance of all these cars when I'm vlogging. So I need to um, find my places here where it's a little bit more quiet like this field. Let's talk about Bitcoin mining, guys. Many people keep asking me, Didi, should I buy an end miner? Should I buy the new end miner? My mailbox is full with these questions. My Twitter accounts are full with these questions. My Instagram accounts are full with these questions. People ask me, Didi, is it still profitable to start mine Bitcoins? I will try to explain to you why I don't think it's profitable now as a single person to start mining Bitcoins. As you probably know, we just had a halving. So every 10 minutes a block is mined and the miner that mines this block earns 6.25 Bitcoins. Because it is not profitable to mine by yourself by having or owning one end miner, many people join a pool. One of the biggest pools is F2 pool. So let's take F2 pool as an example to show you how much it would take to earn one Bitcoin a day or even one Bitcoin in total. First, I will explain you what a pool is. A pool is when multiple people all over the world combine their hash power of their computers or their systems, whatever they use to mine, you know, so they have more chance of solving the puzzles in these blocks being mined and just earning the 6.25 Bitcoin as a mining pool. The amount of hash rate you deliver to the pool, let's say you deliver 1% of the total hash rate of this pool, this is also the amount you share in the Bitcoins that are being mined. So if 6.25 Bitcoins are being mined every 10, every 10 minutes, you own 1% of the 6.25 Bitcoins. If you are responsible with your mining equipment for 1% of the total amount of the hashing rate that this pool has. F2 pool guys, for example, is responsible for 20.5 extra hashes. And to compare this to the total amount of hashing power around the world this is about 120 access hashes so the f2 pool is responsible for 16 percent of the mining capacity worldwide and if we are talking about 16 percent of the mining capacity we are talking about 150 bitcoins per day so the f2 pool is mining 150 bitcoins per day let's say you as a solar miner owns or contributes 1% of the total capacity of the F2 pool mining hash rate. This would mean that you would earn around 1.5 Bitcoin per day. Sounds very interesting, isn't it? But if you want to own 1% of this F2 pool, you need to do a huge investment in mining equipment. But let's make it easy. How could you earn one Bitcoin a day? If you want to mine one Bitcoin a day by using the F2 pool, you need a capacity of 130 peta hashes. And if you, as a solar miner, want to mine 130 peta hashes per second, you need 1200 S19 Pro miners. If you want to buy these 1200 miners, guys, your investment would be around 2.4 million US dollar if we could buy them for $2,000 a piece. So you would need to invest 2.4 million US dollar to start to earn one Bitcoin a day in Bitcoin mining. So you make the calculations. Would you invest 2.4 million US dollar into mining rigs so you can earn one Bitcoin a day? Or would you invest those 2.4 million US dollar now in buying Bitcoins at around 9K? Uh, so in the mining scenario, guys, you are investing 2.4 million US dollar to mine one Bitcoin a day. So that's about 350 Bitcoins a year. And if you buy mid Bitcoins now for 2.4 million US dollar, you own 250 Bitcoins directly from start. 
And yes, 250 is more than 250, but then all the variables need to be the same as it is now. If the difficulty or whatever goes up, then you are mining less Bitcoins. So for me guys, the choice would be very simple. I would never invest in Bitcoin mining at the moment because if I invest 2.4 million US dollar, I'm mining one Bitcoin a day, which will give me a lot of stress because mining, you know, you need to have a huge building which has monthly costs. You need to have electricity which has monthly costs. You need to have employees probably to maintain everything, all the systems, all the equipment. You have power loss, you have all these things. You have all this stress if you start to invest in mining. Well, if you now just pick, take your 2.4 million US dollar and buy 250 bitcoins, you live stressless. You just start to travel the world and you do all the things you like and just wait till bitcoin goes up and then you cash your profit. So for me, buying bitcoins at the moment is way more profitable than investing in mining. If you're talking long, long, long term, like investing in mining today to earn the next couple of 10 years, I don't believe this. Because I think if you invest 2.4 million in mining equipment now, you need to replace these miners in two years times again, because there will be a new miner that will be faster and better and that will mine all these blocks. So if you want to compete then with the big mining companies, you need to upgrade your miners as well. So you keep investing in mining equipment, which in my opinion is just not done if you're just a simple man like me or a solo miner. I would always choose for the option to buy Bitcoins. But if I look at the true fundamentals behind Bitcoins, that is the reason why I would be mining with one S19 and Miner Pro. Because I want to keep the network decentralized. I want to keep the network safe and I want to support the network. And by owning one mining rig, for one, you're contributing to the decentralization and the safekeeping of the Bitcoin blockchain. And two, it will take about 1200 days and you earn one Bitcoin. So this would be the only reason for me to step into mining with one single machine. Profitable? Nah, because it will take four years to earn one Bitcoin. But yes, fundamentally, it's really cool to be supporting Bitcoin and the true decentralization of the Bitcoin blockchain. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and these beautiful green gold fields here in the Netherlands. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your communities, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video. And please leave a comment. The sharing this time is very important because the views are dropping at the moment. I don't know what is the reason, but if you share it in your Telegram groups, in your WhatsApp groups, in your communities, the views will slowly increase probably again. And of course, I'm going to leave you with, you need to zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in in life. You need to enjoy every single minute of the day because this is exactly what makes life worth living. Thanks for watching today and probably see you tomorrow again. Bye. Bitcoin, bitch. Now when I'm walking home, I just realized how dirty my feet are. Now, not of the beach that was normally in front of my house, but now of these asparagus fields here on the back, guys. Check my feet. And how do I know now that these are asparagus fields? Of course, you can use Google for this. If you take this Google app and you take a picture, then Google will tell you that this is an asparagus field.